hello when you first open the bay file you're going to see this immediately you can click here for the full render and then she's um, completely textured in the scene this is a fully possible model and the way you pose her would be by coming here into the control rigify control rig going into pose mode and from there you can directly move and manipulate her with the usual rigify uh, properties that you have here in item where you can see that we have a hair lock in this case to hide all of the hair and the necklace lock bones that she has you can also hide any other part that you don't like to see or that you are not currently working on so that you can have more control so over what you click and what you see now the important thing about this is that this model can be exported into Unreal Engine so this is how she looks in Unreal Engine after being textured the most uh, majority of the materials will come except the skin which you have to recreate in Unreal because it's not compatible with what we have in Blender but here she is and the good thing about this is that if you grab this uh, model which is you can see that this pink line down here this is the, the mesh you want to um, manipulate in this case or review you can see that the her entire bone hierarchy has been ported from Blender into Unreal Engine and that's great because that means that whatever you uh, do in Blender and export her that will come into Unreal Engine without any kind of problems and therefore you can pose her however you want and you can even animate her and send the NLA tracks directly into Unreal and then you will see that everything corresponds with this character now the good thing about this and the reason why we have been experimenting so much is because if you right click on this and then come into create select IK rig it will immediately create remember this is the pink line okay this is the model it says skeletal mesh if you right click on there and select IK rig you're gonna get this yellow line identify as an IK rig you can see it right there so if you double click this as a blender user of this new add-on that we have developed you can just click auto create IK chains and then retarget chains and it will give you 100% accuracy with what Unreal Engine expects you to create or do motion capture with this model and let me show you how it works first let's save and now let's close it from there we can just right click on an empty space type IK you're going to get this IK retargeter blue mode or blue line select it you can rename it as you want I'll double click it and this is like opening a new module from there you can just click here and select U IKU4 mannequin if you want it so click on the foot press F to focus you can then move the viewport and in the target IK rig asset please notice we have the yellow line here we're going to target our IK final bay and target mesh offset please set it to 120 so she's out outside now you can see that this does not match she looks tremendously horrible however we can edit this pose click on this big button and now you will see the viewport comes into a blue shade and now you're editing the pose and the mistake or rather the thing that we have to correct is that she's on an X pose this is uh, referred to and this is on a pose what we're going to do is to click here and then click align all bones because we fully created that IK rig beforehand she will immediately adopt the form of the original source in this case an A pose but we have a problem with the foot not a problem because we can just type foot select the foot R for example and make sure that this is enabled so this will snap you every 10 degrees so type foot enable the snapping and just roll this 10 10 degrees let's go for the other foot select it and again you can just roll it down now let's go for the front okay it's a little bit weird so let's just roll it another 10 degrees on the Z axis again I'll select the other one and I'll roll it on the pose you can click back on editing retarget pose and it will switch to running retarget so now that she is correctly aligned with this guy 
you can see if we click here, the only animation this model has is jog forward. If we double click on it, we can see that everything fits and aligns together. Look at that, she's running, everything is good. So I'm going to bring the shelf. I have my quick magic motion capture folder ready. Right click, import the game assets in this case, and mocaps from quick magic AI, which I call bands K1 and K2. I'm going to bring them both. Both of them have their own skeleton plus animation. So my options to import here have come uh, winded because you may probably see all of these parameters. You don't really need them because Quick Magic AI brings everything as it should. Just click import. And once it's imported, you can click on asset settings, which is the source IK rig that we previously had. And now we're going to select the Quick Magic Pink uh, skeletal mesh. Okay, this is important. So I'm going to drag and drop it here. As you can see, Unreal Engine automatically shows you where it needs to be dropped, either on the source or on the target. We're going to drag it on the source. And we uh, <laughs> we see this problem because it is not set up as it should, as you can see right there. But if I double click this, then I get the correct dance that I motion capture from Quick Magic AI. And you can see they are both dancing. It is awesome. Her head seems to be way up for some reason, but you can correct that. Let's go again into the, oh, this is why. You can see this is a problem because in the new motion recapture, in the new motion capture file that we brought, this is the, 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 the starting pose. No problem. Let's click on here to edit the pose again. Auto align, align all bones, and now they are both sharing the same pose. This is important for any starting motion capture cleanup or bake. Now let's go again into foot. Let's realign the foot once again because this is uh, an operation that can be done over and over. And once you have the correct preset, if we can call it that way, you can even save it. You can come here into create and create or a duplicate from the current pose because create will actually reset everything. But if you duplicate from current, it will take your current pose, which is this one, and fix it. So every time you bring something new, you can apply that pose as a preset from here. But that's another module I intend to show you in, an, in a training course that I'm building specifically around the add-on that we have. I'll be announcing later in the week. So anyways, we have this. Let's go back to the running retarget. And, and you can see that they are now moving exactly as our motion capture file. So that's a huge advantage we have right there. The fact to be able to port from Blender into Unreal. So now let me show you what you're going to need to do because at the moment, I'm not going to be directly sharing the add-on. There are a lot of things I need to explain in the in the live sessions that we're going to do. So this is important um, that you understand. You are going to get this file and if you want to port Bay, you're going to have to select your, your mesh, select the root that you have right here. This is the actual rig that ports to Unreal Engine. Okay, you do not see it so make it available, make it visible. Switch off the Rigify control rig and from there select base body, base hair, ba base face, base hair, all of the, the pieces and then you can select root. Okay, the root armature. From there just click on export, FBX, target your, your directory and I'm going to be sharing this, the Unreal 5.4 export preset. So if you select that, it will automatically create all the settings that you need in order for you to send the animation from here into Unreal Engine. Now, this is the, then you click export and you're done. Your FVX will be out and then you will import it into Unreal. You do not have to select or do anything else. You just click import in Unreal and that's all. Forget about, you know, twisting bones, weird names. Uh, you don't need to do that anymore. We've worked so hard five months into this uh, add-on. Um, but this is the normal, regular way. Now, let me show you the actual add-on. How does it look like? 
so if you come here into the uh, end panel tab we have the add-on which is called rig to u5 rig to u5 is designed to streamline your workflow for creating a rig and sending it into unreal engine for game animation so it is important that you have previous experience with that now but if you don't have previous experience with that I'm going to be creating an entire course around it okay from from zero to hero even if you do not have experience with rigify I'm going to be teaching all of that into the course which I'll be announcing soon so let's continue in this add-on you don't have to even you don't have to even select anything you just click export FBX to U5 target the directory the rig to U5 will show you okay I just found a rest pose if you were to have animations and those animations were to be in the NLA those animations will be ported once you click here because it will list them there are a lot of features I want to show you but not at this moment all that you need to know is that manually you can also export this if you hide the rigify control and you show the root uh, rig select your bay and then send it to unreal with the preset that I mentioned okay so this has been the shortest of the explanations I could show you so that you can use and pose bay her name is bay from the Nike's uh, video game uh, shooting series so this is how you can do it if you want to pose bay then hide the root bring back the visibility for the rigify control rig go to post mode and continue to do whatever you would like to do with the model you can rotate the foot you can you know make her jump you can make her move uh, don't forget that you can hide all of the controllers in the item so therefore you can you know show all all of the other controllers with this visible visibility rig layers in the item rig main properties buttons so yeah there you go if you have any further questions please let me know we're we're going to be doing a live session to show you how to manage the add-on from zero to hero and it is important that you know that I'll be taking all of your questions in that live session so that we can um, work together and show you how it works, how you can send your model from Blender into Unreal and make it work. All of the animations, the facial animations, all of the uh, other bones that you may have included, everything can work once you bring it into Unreal Engine and you can also enjoy other benefits such as creating IK rigs, retargeting, and even module control rigs. My name is Pierre Schiller, thank you very much, and I hope to see you in the next live stream.